फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय वर्क प्लेस एट रानाघाट वेस्ट बंगाल इंडिया दिस इज फिकमल स्पीक्शन ऑफ ए हाइपर मैच्योर मॉर्गनियन कैटरैक्ट आफ्टर इंसिशंस अ बिग एयर बबल इज इंजेक्टेड इनटू द एंटीरियर चेंबर एंड देन ट्राइपन ब्लू 0.06 परसेंट डाई इज स्प्रेड ओवर द एंटीरियर कैप्सूल इफ यू अप्लाई द डाई अंडरनीथ एन एयर बबल स्टेनिंग इज इमीडिएट इट टेक्स वेरी लेस टाइम नाउ this is a bit of adrenaline then the dye is washed out and then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber the anterior chamber has been filled off with this viscoelastic substance and now capsulorexis is to be done i use a 26 gauge bent needle to incise the anterior capsule at the central part and then use a utrita forceps and as i try to make a small rexis can see milky fluid is coming out from the right side this indicates that the cataract is a hypermature morgagnian one yes some milky fluid has been aspirated through this small opening and now anterior chamber is again filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose we have to enlarge this rexis a small cut is made at 7:00 Now I use a uh, utrita forceps hold this capsular tag go anti clockwise all around and perform a continuous curvilinear adequate sized capsular axis You can see the gas is quite hard and we have to do and adequate size rexis and this is a fairly round adequate sized rexis size of this rexis will be about 5.75 mm and now how to hold this nucleus this nucleus doesn't have a nuclear support it's a free floating nucleus so what i am trying to do is just to go into the substance of the nucleus and trying to go to the opposite equator and trying to making a chop yes i have made a good crack and now i turn the tip in such a way that immediately the tip gets occluded by the nuclear material the bevel is turned towards the nuclear mass and this is almost bevel down position um able to make some good cracks but there is a leathery posterior plate that is holding all the pieces together and now i am trying to remove this endonucleus this is the hardest part of this nucleus trying to remove this um 
using the bevel almost down yes it is down because I know that the nuclear mass that I am going to hold is quite hard here I have been able to get a free nuclear fragment and I am going to remove this we have to be extremely careful in emulsifying these nuclear pieces because there is no epinuclear shell supporting the posterior capsule and here we can see a leathery band holding these two big pieces together so apply some energy at the leathery band lifting the pieces and then emulsify the piece in front FECO power being used is 80 percent flow rate is 40 ml per minute vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury and this is Oatly Catarix 3 FECO machine and this is another crack to divide this nucleus at this time we have to be extremely careful for emulsifying this last piece yes from this point I have asked my assistants to come down to FECO on mode where the vacuum is only 80 millimeter of mercury flow rate is 25 and power is about 70 percent another good way is come out at this time and yes from this time I am in FECO on mode another good way is to come out at this time inject visco implant the intraocular lens in the bag and then emulsify this last piece but in FECO on mode where the vacuum is only 80 millimeter of mercury or even less the pieces can be safely emulsified bringing those small bits at the central part and now cortical cleanup is done with bimanual irrigation aspiration this portion has been edited a bit and after cortical cleanup a foldable intraocular lens is being implanted keeping the anterior chamber formed by irrigating fluid and this is the lens hydrofolic acrylic monofocal single piece intraocular lens it has gone into the capsular bag now see this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber after hydrating the sideboards we can remove lot of visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium directing a gentle stream of BSS towards the corneal endothelium and then this is a bit of moxifloxacin and the case is concluded this is a bit of a small drop of SPMC thank you very much for your attention hope this video will inspire you to take up challenging cases and improve your surgical skills